More than 100 documents seized in the 2011 raid that killed Osama bin Laden and his compound in Abbottabad, Pakistan. Our Pentagon correspondent, Barbara Starr, has been looking through uh, this new information. What are you learning, Barbara? Hi, Wolf. Well, you'll remember when the Navy SEALs went into that, that compound, they grabbed on their way out everything they could, documents, computers, laptops, hard drives. The intelligence community, since the night of that raid, has been pouring through all of it. There had been one release of documents. Today, we see a second release now to the public of documents from that bin Laden compound. We see a bin Laden who is isolated, who is man trying to still manage everything from his hideout where he's been for years, writing dozens of letters to other religious people, offering his view of jihad and Islam again, his view of all of that, writing to his relatives. Uh, these documents just go on and on. Uh, let me read one of the, a little bit from one of these documents uh, to you. He, he talks about his will and where he wants to leave his money to. And he says, and let me quote from this, I hope for my brothers, sisters, and maternal aunts to obey my will and to spend all the money that I have left in Sudan on jihad for the sake of Allah. Uh, the letter goes on to say that bin Laden has, he says he has $29 million stashed in the African country of Sudan. We don't really know if that uh, actually proved to be true or not. Micromanager, he writes a letter to his uh, wife and he talks about her dental work. And let me read some of that to you. He says, I was told that you went to a dentist in Iran and you were concerned about a filling she put in for you. As I previously mentioned to you, they can insert a small chip in it to implant under the skin. The size of the chip is about the length of a grain of wheat and the width of a fine piece of vermicelli. He's obviously worried that there are tracking chips inside dental work and that people might be able to eventually track down his relatives and lead to tips about where he is. But what this really underscores, you see a bin Laden who is still trying to be relevant, writing letters around the world. He's very concerned about keeping himself and Al Qaeda relevant. And you begin to see, even all these years ago, the first hints of the uh, divisions within Al Qaeda, especially in Iraq. And little did we know that that would eventually, of course, lead today to the rise of ISIS. Wolf?